I'm pleased with your progress, but I think it's time we worked a case together, don't you? We've got a Wild West shootout this time, right out of the OK Corral, but there's nothing OK about murder. This Old West Tourist Museum is only the latest attraction to play off Vegas' outlaw heritage. But our Vic, over behind the cash register, is an all too realistic exhibit of modern day violence in Vegas. Suspect gave himself up to the first officer on the scene, who found two 9mm handguns on the floor. Crime apparently happened just after closing. No witnesses that we know of. Keith Wild, and that's Little Ed over on the floor since he can't tell you. I've been read my rights, case you're wondering. Gil Grissom, Crime Lab. Tell us what happened. Take your time. I don't need time. It went down fast. Closing time, nobody around. I brought my two nine mils along and popped them. Bang, bang. I shot him down. Because he needed shooting. Has for a long, long time. And like any good customer in a shop like this, I'm ready to pay. Cool. Go for it. Good. Take it. I'll put the suspect in the cruiser for now. Sure thing. A shop makes for a messy crime scene countless customer prints to deal with. So first, we'll concentrate on what's definitely shooting related, such as bullets and shell casings. Just a kid. No more than 20, I'd say. Hit twice, chest and shoulder. Driver's license shows he's barely old enough to drive. 18. Check out the rest. Single action army pistol, the so-called peacemaker of the Old West, dates to 1873. 38, loaded. Sniff test says it was fired, two rounds gone. Risky, using modern ammo with an old weapon. Barrel could snap, among other things. Standard 38 Special. Cocked, chamber open, and no ammo. Hammer stuck? We have a two-gun suspect and a Vic with one weapon who perhaps snagged another. It's like a reenactment of a high noon showdown, except all too real. Whether the Old West or modern Vegas, when you hear the word shootout, that means one thing. Bullets. Lots of them. Floor lodged bullet like this in a gunfight may mean an accidental discharge.
What have you got there? If you catch it for me, I can use it in my collection. These guns were in Keith's hands, all right. Okay, Keith left his blood at the scene, but if he was wounded, I missed it. All right, let's head back to the lab and work our findings. I'll take the suspect back to the station. Talk to Brass when you're ready to question him. Spandex thread. Fairly common, particularly in Vegas. Sure, I'll send a team right out. Gunshot wound to the chest severed the left ventricle and stopped the heart immediately. The victim was also shot in the right shoulder. Small amount of bleeding suggests the shots were fired one after another within seconds. Of course, here's your 10 card. I did, and it didn't fragment on impact. I don't need it any further. You'll want it as evidence. This one wasn't the COD, but you'll want it as evidence all the same. Both shots were to the front of the body, one from the left, one from the right. Indicates our shooter may have been on the move, possibly seeking cover, or even more likely a better angle to facilitate firing the fatal shot. Lividity and rigidity tests indicate the Vic was shot at 9 p.m., right around closing time. Oh, other than being dead, our victim is in top condition. Tox screen did turn up marijuana traces in the blood, but the Vic hadn't been high in at least 24 hours. I'll get right on it. Check back later, okay? Just a packet of gum, oh, and uh, six shell casings? Yeah, I think we can stretch a point, even if all we have is a guy at the scene with two smoking guns who confesses. No, I wasn't. Uh, honestly, I don't remember. It went down fast, really fast. They're legal, bought them after my 18th birthday, and took classes at a local firing range. But if you're looking for something to arrest me on, I guess you got me cold on carrying concealed weapons. I wasn't exactly counting. And when I try to think back, man, it's a blur. I can tell you I didn't exhaust the mags, though I know two slugs finished the job. Cartridges were full at 15 at the go point, so you do the math. 
I told you, right after closing, little after 9 p.m., I knew that jerk was working there and closed up on Monday nights. Door was open, letting some cool evening air, right? Little Ed needed cooling. Well, when the Citizen of the Year Award gets handed out, you'll know right where to find me, won't you? Anyway, I'm 18. I'll be out on the streets being a good citizen again before you know it. You mind if we hold off putting you in for that award till we find out the truth here? Souvenirs. It's a souvenir shop, right? Or maybe you were just picking up after yourself and got caught in the act. So I'm tidy. What do you want from me anyway? I'm 18, ready to do the time, and I've copped to the damn thing. Hey, interested in doing a laser analysis of bullets fired at the crime scene? Me too. But first I want to make sure we've processed all the bullets and guns we can find. I count eight bullets total, including the ones from Robbins. Gun was jammed, as I thought. Ran the serial number and it's registered to the gift shop owner. We need to fire off a test round. Remember what I said about the dangers of new ammo and old guns? Well, this peacemaker wasn't Wyatt Earps. Serial number indicates a late 20th century replica. Should handle modern cartridges just fine. So our Vic's regular gun jammed, and he grabbed a gun from the display case to return fire. Twelve left in the mag, three bullets spent. Let's get around from ballistics. Fifteen round chamber. Three bullets missing from the mag. Serial number says this pistol wasn't registered, but Nevada law doesn't require it. Time for another test round. Thirty-eight caliber, fired by our Vic. Our Vic fired this bullet. Cash left in the drawer may take robbery out of the equation particularly considering the value of the guns on display here, also left behind. This was fired from the first 9mm. This was fired from the first 9mm. This is from the second 9mm. This is from the second 9mm. We've confirmed two body shots from two different 9mm. Our shooter says he clipped the Vic in the shoulder, then moved to a new position quickly to deliver the fatal chest wound. I'd like to see for myself. You successfully processed all of the crime scene bullets. Laser configuration should give us a coherent picture of the shootout. Let's go. 